Hey guys, Captain Crush here, and we're going to show you how to beat the Fire Giant. So you're going to want to spawn in here at Flame Peak. And then next thing you're going to want to get on your torrent. We're going to ride straight ahead, as you can see, the iron chain that is being used as a bridge. Uh, also, the boss entrance is there. Once you enter the fight, the boss will automatically be aggroed and he'll be heading your way. So you're going to want to hop on Torrent, go to this tree, make a hard right. You're going to see an invisible wall where the entrance was. We're actually going to hop around that wall right off the corner of this cliff and double jump back onto the platform where the entrance was. The double jump did take me a couple times to get right. Uh, there is a sweet spot that you need to hit in order for the double jump to work and push you onto the platform. So if you don't get it right the first time, just go ahead and try it again. It'll spawn you right there. From here, go ahead and follow my pathing. As you can see, we're going to go to the corner of the cliff, which is the furthest the fire giant can get to. And as we wait for the giant to make it over to this corner right here, I'll go ahead and let you know a couple of the things that you will need for this method to work. As you can see in my right hand, I have the Antsper Rapier, which is a sword that causes blood loss. And on that weapon, I have also equipped Seppuku, so that I'm able to get even more blood loss with each attack. The secondary weapon that I have in my left hand is the Pulley Crossbow, and you will need this partnered with the Seppuku Blade. So at this moment we will activate Seppuku and switch to our Pulley Crossbow as the giant gets to the corner of the cliff. Keep in mind none of his attacks can hit you, so you will be safe from this range. From here we're just going to start sending an onslaught of arrows his way. As you can see, his health bars start depleting. The blood loss will gradually add up, so it won't take too, too long, but you do want to make sure you have enough arrows to keep on shooting. A quick reminder to always keep Seppuku active. You want to see the red flames around your body to let you know that Seppuku is still active, that way the blood loss buildup will continue to grow at a gradual rate. Finally, once we get him down to half health, he will go into his second stage and the real fight will begin. Once we return back from the cutscene, we will be in front of the fire giant, so we'll quickly hop on Torin and aim to take out the remainder of his health. From this point, I highly suggest close combat so that his flurry of attacks and rolls will not hit you. So as these fire rocks are shooting towards me, I'll get in close and we will start chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. After you get a couple hits in, he will roll away, leaving two fireballs that will hit you for a lot of damage, so go ahead and try to avoid those. If not, heal up and get back within striking range. I personally go for the back legs, they're the easiest, even though you'll be locked on his head. You want to get to the spot where you can continuously hit him. Do be mindful of which leg moves first, because that will be in the direction that his roll was. As you can see, the left leg moved first from where he was, and he rolled to the left. When he finishes his roll, I like to go either all the way left or all the way right around to one of the legs again, 
That way we can try to get more blood loss build up to get his health down. He will do another set of fireballs and roll. We'll go ahead and go far left to avoid those and get out of the way of his fire blast. One attack to watch out for is the stomach fire breath in which he will do a 360 even at close range it could hit you. I always strafe all the way right, get behind him and continue my attacks. As the blood loss continues to build up, he will take more and more damage, lose more and more health, and eventually he will be defeated. And that'll end it for us here. I hope you guys all successfully defeat the fire giant with a little bit of cheese. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.